January 2nd, 2024. It's been about a year since the incident happened. I've been in therapy for as long as I can remember after that horrible night. I got a prosthetic for my left leg and was able to walk somewhat normally again shortly after. I haven't told anyone about that horrible night. Not even my family. My friends who were there at the start of all this visited me every day while I was in the hospital, begging me to tell them what happened, but I lied and told them I didn't remember anything. Little did they know, I not only crystal clearly remember what happened, I also knew what I was going to do as soon as I could walk normally again. February 27th, 2024. I could finally walk on my own again. And when I got released from the hospital, I immediately knew what I had to do. I rushed home and started planning. This time, I would plan it out. Not just run in there and take my chance. I began planning the following day. March 9th, 2024. I've collected all my ideas and decided that the hunt would be on the 15th. However, I knew I couldn't do this alone, seeing as what happened last time. So I decided to call my uncle, who's an ex-Marine and knows all the camouflage techniques that a civilian does not. Lucky for me, he believes in all kinds of folklore, mainly Native American ones, so he was down to help me. He's the only person I told this story to, since I know I could trust him with my life. In the following days, he taught me all different kinds of techniques, like camouflage in plain sight and the hand signals used in Marine Corps. Only one thing remained. The weapons. Since the police confiscated all of my weapons after the last incident, I had nothing. But my uncle told me not to worry about it. March 15th, 2024. The day was here. The meetup was scheduled to be at 11 p.m., but I was already at the place where we said we'd meet up, even though it was 10 minutes earlier. When all of a sudden, I heard that scream. That same blood-curdling scream I heard way back. But I wasn't scared anymore. Shortly after my uncle shows up with full Marine Corps camouflage uniforms and plate carriers, along with two M4 carbines loaded up with holographic sights, lasers, flashlights, and all of the above. He also brought an old Winchester Model 1873, which he told me only to use if I'm certain that I'm about to shoot at the entity in question. He said because it was loaded with white ash tree rubbed bullets. He started saying something else too, but was cut off by that same horrible scream. So we quickly dressed up and made our way into the woods. March 15th. 2024, 11.10 p.m. We entered the forest with adrenaline pumping in our bodies and quickly took position in an abandoned cabin a few hundred feet into the woods. We quickly shut the door behind us and began discussing the next hours. 11.30 p.m. 
We were still discussing when we heard a knocking sound coming from the door. I shouted out, Who the hell is it? What do you want? But it just kept knocking. My uncle knows Morse code, but and he translated that it said, Your blood. Over and over again. Then it just stopped. Like the source of the noise just simply disappeared. And after a few moments of eerie silence, a window broke in the room next to the one we were in. And something was running towards the door. My uncle instantly yelled, Take cover! So that's what I did. I ducked and heard his M4 go off on all fully automatic. He popped off 20 rounds at the door and very likely hit something, since the anomaly let out a huge scream. My uncle grabbed me by my arm and pulled me up. Then we jumped out the window and took off running. 11.35 PM. We ran for about a mile when we deemed it safe to stop for a drink. When I suddenly noticed that the old Winchester my uncle gave me was missing, so I informed him immediately. He turned to me with a huge smile on his face. Then it hit me. I didn't have an uncle. The damn thing implanted itself in my memory. A moment of sheer panic later, it pulled out the gun and shot my prosthetic leg and I fell to the ground. I quickly reached for my N4 and let out a burst of fire towards it. I scored a hit to its thigh, and so it ran away. 12 AM. I collected my thoughts and somehow managed to get up. I realized I needed to get out of there as soon as possible. Only one problem. I had no idea of where the way out was. So I just started walking in a random direction. I lost track of time after this, since my watch had been ruined. After what felt like forever, I saw a light in the distance. As I got closer to it, I realized it was a huge bonfire, surrounded by a ton of these entities. They were just standing there. It was almost mesmerizing in a way. How they stood perfectly still around the fire. But I knew I had to focus. I realized that I had a flare gun in my pocket, so... I pulled it out. And shot it up. This caused all of them to look at me. Then disappear. The fire went out and the flare was the only source of light in the entire forest. Then, I heard something running towards me from the back. Twelve o'clock and after, I turned and saw one of these things in all its glory sprinting towards me on all fours. I shot all my bullets at it, which somehow caused it to drop dead. As I went closer to examine it, I was disgusted by the smell of it. It was like rotten flesh. I looked at the carcass and saw a huge pentagram on its back. So I backed off and started praying. I may be crazy, but I heard a voice say to me, Go 88 steps forward. Then six left. So I did just that. And saw a white ash tree. And I instantly knew what to do. I grabbed 30 bullets and rubbed every single one of them on the tree. Then something snapped inside of me. I yelled up, Come and get me! At the top of my lungs. 
and right away, several creatures started rushing towards me. Five shots, five dead entities. But then, I saw it. The thing that started all of this. It wanted me dead. Then suddenly the flare died out. I quickly turned on my laser and flashlight, and the final battle had begun. 12.30 AM. The entity took the form of my so-called uncle and quickly ran in the bush. But I wasn't ready to let it slip away again. So I shot about 10 rounds into the bush and it ran out of it. And I took my chance and with my remaining bullets, I shot it. It dropped and screamed in agony. I went up to it and realized it had dropped that old Winchester. So I picked it up and put a bullet in its skull. And with that, it was all over. At least I thought. March 16th, 2024. After I got home, I dropped and fell asleep. When I woke up, I decided that the best thing to do was to go to church, since those things were most likely demonic. As soon as I entered the church, the priest saw me and fainted. I had to call an ambulance for him. I heard he died later that day. The same day, I found out my entire family was killed in a horrible car accident. And so I realized I had been cursed for life. Anyone who was considered my loved one had died in the following weeks. Only I had remained. So in the end, I got my revenge from my friend. But was it worth it? <laughs>